just going to do some quick painting here. I've got my paint out of my can, so see I can just wipe it off the edge like that with this. And I'm going to just paint where I see that it's missing. And see, this is the best time to do it it's before you install your new flooring material, whatever it is that you're going to install. Okay, you can be installing laminate flooring, tile, more carpet if you think this baseboard might show along the top edge of the pre of the finished edge of your carpet, let's say. So see, I don't really care if it gets on the floor. I'm still going to be careful to a certain extent. I'm going to be floating out this floor, and that's why I'm doing this. I want to give this plenty of time to dry. This is the same paint that was on this baseboard before. And I've swept up a little bit, you know, along the edges. And if I think there's other little bits of base that I can hit as I'm doing this, you know, I can. I just don't want to, you know, this whole job wasn't to do any painting. I didn't even really think I was going to have to do any painting. But sometimes the unexpected happens. And if I want, you know, this is a semi gloss paint, and it's being changed into a different color here. From what was on the wall before, there was kind of an off-white color before. And I'll have to look at this later after it dries to see if I've got to install a second coat. And if I do, I will because I've got the paint right here. It's nice and easy. Okay, see, I'm just going to do that all along. This hallway, that's all I have to do. Everything else has been painted. And I just have to be a little mindful of making everything match. The last thing I want to do when I get done with this job is have somebody say, oh yeah, yeah, Joe did that work. Didn't he do a good job? Well, he forgot to uh, look at that base down there. He didn't paint the base the same. He knew there was some paint there. He could have just done that real quick. And he didn't. And now, can you imagine if you had a pre-finished floor? You know, if you got a laminate floor down here or tiles or carpet or even a concrete stained floor. And by the way, that's what I'm going to be doing here. You may think, how on earth is he going to do that? You keep watching my, my videos and I'll show you how you can do that. It looks pretty awesome too when you get all done and some people just like just like that look and that look is starting to come back or it's starting to come period in houses. You ever seen a house that was stained the floor? Maybe not but you you're gonna start seeing it and lots of offices nowadays have it or you go into nice like uh, grocery stores maybe a, a health food type grocery store or something you look on the floors next time you go in there son of a gun it will be stained probably and so if I had a stained floor here right now can you see how difficult it would be for me to get down there and try to cut it in exact down to the floor. I mean, I'd have to put the blue masking tape down there. And even then, it has a tendency to want to run on you underneath the masking tape edge. Now, they claim that's not going to happen, but it all depends on how well 
you put it on and how much uh, paint that you push down into the inside corner you still have to try to cut it in flat like that along the tape there's a tip for you if you ever if you ever uh, put blue masking tape down you just don't want to just take a full set of paint and jab it down in there on the inside corner let's say okay <laughs> you're gonna be sorry because when you pull up the masking tape you're going to have little bits and pieces down on your floor and you're going to be saying, hey, why did I spend the extra money to do that, to do that blue tape and now it didn't even work and I'm pissed off. Yeah, you're going to be saying that, mark my words. Okay.